Hello everyone, welcome to Exynos Art Channel, my name is Marek, as you already know, and today we will be unboxing and reviewing this Lincoln Navigator in 1 to 18 scale, uh, produced in China by, again, an unknown company. Okay, so the first part will be, again, unboxing, so I will do it very quickly. So I will just take it out of the box as fast as I can. Let me pull it, pull it out. Oh, actually, there is a surprise, yeah, there is a surprise. It's this base, uh, which is quite interesting, yeah. So before I go to this styrofoam box, I also want to show you here, uh, we have another paper box, and in this paper box, actually, you have a very nice wooden base. This is a very nice wood. I'm not even sure what kind of wood is it. Is it oak? I'm not sure. And then we have this Lincoln Navigator plate, and it looks really luxurious. Eh? Look at that, it's so awesome, the material, how it's polished, and wow. Okay, so I think this is the first model where I really love this base. I think it's one of the greatest I have seen so far, and I'm really glad that they make this model so luxurious by attaching this wooden base. But now, guys, I think it's already time to, to really check what is inside of this styrofoam box. Eh? And on the top, there is this Lincoln badge and or seal. So when I remove it, yeah, so I will place it here. And now, for the first time, guys, I am curious what is here. Wow. Okay, so there is a towel or a napkin. Let me just remove this. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh, on this napkin you see also Lincoln logo there, but what is more interesting is this model that we have here. Oh, it's so heavy. So goddamn heavy. Wow. That's something. Wow. Okay. Let me just clean this and put it somewhere else. Good. So, uh, I mean, where to start? with this very heavy beautiful model yeah so i wanted to have this one because now i have this cullinan i have uh what else i think i should check here yeah because i have all the suvs here i have the x7 i have all the range rovers gls by mercedes-benz and so on and so on but this one i was looking at it like for for a year before i made my buying decision because it's not quite cheap eh? it's like i don't know almost 300 dollars and this is a high price and eh? very high price but here in europe not so many people have this model and eh? not so many because nobody's officially selling it so you need to buy it in china and import it to your country of origin or where you actually live all right so now this is what i did i have it now here on my desk and now we will review it so let's really start here in the front yes yeah? so look at this a beautiful grill I think it has two layers. One layer is this shiny one, fully perforated, amazing, with this beautiful, nice, big Lincoln logo. And there is one more grill just behind, um, different material, different piece. Then we have the headlights, also nice and bright with LED stripe, amazing. And a huge license plate here in the front and a lower grille here with all additional here details on the bumper. We have a little chrome, chrome everywhere. All right. Then let me check also here the side. Yeah, so the wheels, look at how terrific they are. Big, I think 21 inches at least, <laughs> big wheels. And this Navigator uh, logo or uh, badge here on the side then with the door handles uh, separate pieces very nice and this actually side mirror can be folded unfolded amazing feature then the doors I will not open the door yet yeah so let's fr let's first check the exterior only then in the back wow this is nice wiper small wiper here the Lincoln and navigator again here navigator and what is this is it some kind of trim description? I, it's so small, I can't really read it. Yeah, it's too tiny, sorry. 
and then we have additional uh, lights here and one huge rear light which is all across the rear of the car amazing okay uh, maybe let me also show you oh it's so heavy goddamn heavy the bottom bottom of the car and or uh, here you see a lot of nice details a lot of nice details really all the transmission wow that's the exhaust here the spare tire also rubber this is also rubber okay and now actually when i want to wow so here it's working in the back as well yeah so suspension fully working great this is so great now i think it's time to really open it yeah i'm i'm so unpatient so here in the front first so let me check and show you the engine with a lot of details with this lincoln badge on the engine the signs of lincoln here we have some stickers different colors different pieces really amazing engine and how this is produced yeah so that's really great i love it and now the trunk the fifth door let me open it oh how do I do that? Okay, like this. Okay, so I think the prob same problem like on my Ford Explorer. I can't really fully open it, yeah? so only like this. Uh, but then what is inside? Yeah? So you have here a small piece which you can pull. Can I now do it? Can I do it? Oh, it's so small. But I can do it, finally, I managed. And there is a small compartment to store your gun. <laughs> okay, so very nice. And what is actually this? Yeah, so I see that there is a small gap. Oh, let me show you maybe some imperfection here. Yeah, so there is a gap between two plastic pieces here. This is not really nice. Yeah, so I think this is the first really issue that I found on this model. Other than that, we have carpeting. Yeah, so let me put it down again. Oh, the suspension, how this is working. This is really terrific. Look at that. Wow. The car looks like a real one. Mm -hmm. And now let me also open the doors. Yeah? Opening the doors right now. Yeah, this is so awesome. Look at it. Look at it in the inside, the interior. How this is produced. With those beautiful seats. Same here in the back. And what I like about this car is how wide or huge is actually this middle console between the front seats. It's amazingly huge. Yeah? And let me also turn it again to this side. And actually the uh, gas door can't be opened. This is one disadvantage. We have an LCD screen here, carpeting on the floor. And now I want to show you also the steering wheel. And how this is connected oh yeah so it's connected to the wheels yeah this is beautiful and the seats are blue yeah so this this model is really all blue interior blue exterior i think it fits together it fits yeah i think very nice yeah so maybe one more detail if we zoom in a little bit here the steering wheel looks quite okay good so that's basically it maybe also the roof yeah let me just briefly show you here you can't really open it yeah so it's is there we have the uh the sunroof but with no functionality which is which would be built in okay so basically yes i think this is now the biggest uh, suv in my collection yeah it's not the cullinan it's not the G-Class, it's not GLS. I think this Lincoln Navigator is the biggest one and I love it. That's exactly the reason why I bought it, yeah? because I like the big SUVs and this is the king of all of them. Unless there is a Cadillac Escalade being produced, but I haven't seen one online. Okay, so I'm waiting for it. Once there is this Cadillac Escalade available, and I don't mean the old generation. Of course, I can find the old one, like 10 years, 20 years old. But I want to find the recent generation, or at least something around 2019-18. Yeah, but this is not available yet. So until then, I think this would be the king 
of all my SUVs and I, I need, really need to find it a good place where to be displayed because it will consume a lot of space and then I will enjoy it until end of my times. Good, so now I have it, I will never sell it, <laughs> don't worry. And um, now only time for the final rating. So thank you again for watching and see you next time.